In this video, I'm going to show you how to use 8Base Data Builder. Data Builder makes it easy for you to define your application data model, create tables, fields, and relationships between tables. For this example, we're going to build a very simple human resource management application. So let's go ahead and create our first table. We're going to name our first table employees, and it will store our employees' data. The first field we're going to add to this table is name, and the type of the field is going to be text. Uh, notice uh, every field in ABase has properties that allow you to configure that field. In the case of text field type, you can configure the length of the field and uh, whether or not to allow to store in multiple values in this field. Plus, uh, you can make the field mandatory or prevent duplicate values in this field. In this case, we're going to keep the default settings and just create that field. The next field we're going to create is going to be age. And the type of this field is number. Number field allows you to store numeric values. Uh, you can store integer values or decimal by controlling how many decimal places you want to store in that field. In the case of age, it's going to be zero. And we're going to set minimum value to 0 and maximum value to 100. The field is created. And the next field we're going to add is date of birth. This field is going to be of type date. After that, we're going to create a field of type switch. And the field will hold the gender of employee. The switch field type allows you to store simple Boolean values, such as yes, no, on, off, true, false. Or you can define your own custom list of, of allowed values for this field. So let's go ahead and define allowed values for the gender field. So it's going to be female, male, and not available. I'm going to create that field. We also want to store a list of documents associated with every employee. AidBase has embedded file management capability. And it's in enabled by this filed field that is available in the field types. So we can create a field called documents of type file. And it's also very handy to be able to attach multiple files to a single employee. So we select this allow multiple checkbox created this field. The next field type in the list is table, but we're going to skip it for now. Um, the last field we're going to add to our employee table is going to be address, to store employee address. And you know that typically, uh, because address has multiple subfields, you would need to create multiple fields to store a single address. In 8Base, we have a special field type called smart, and the format address that allows you to store the entire address in just a single field. So let's go ahead and create that field. OK, cool. So we have our basic employee information here. Now, uh, what if we want to also capture a list of departments in our company and then associate employees to, with the department that they work in? So let's go ahead and create another table called department. And our department table will have only single field name of type text. Uh, and we also, we don't want to have multiple departments with the same name. So we select no duplicate values here. Let's create that field. Now we want to associate employees with the department they work in. So we're just going to grab that table from the sidebar and drag it into our employees table. We then select that we allow multiple employees per department. That's correct. And in our case, we want every single employee to be associated with just one department. So we keep this checkbox unselected. If in your case, a single employee can work for multiple departments, at the same time, you can select the checkbox to establish a many-to-many -many relationship. Let's create that uh, field. But let me first explain you one more thing. Uh, 
when you create this department field in the employees table, another field is created in the department table that points to the list of employees that work for this department. And this is what this relation field name is for. So that's the name of the field that gets added to the department table. As you can see, after we created this field, if we go to department, we now have employees field here that points to the list of employees. So at this point, we pretty much created um, our data model that can store employees' departments. We can attach files to employees. Now this data model can be queried through a GraphQL API. So if you go to API Explorer, you can issue queries, for example, to get a list of employees. So for each employee, you can get name, age. Maybe you want to know what city they work in. Uh, and you also want to know the documents attached to these employees and the name of the file, plus maybe uh, departments that the employee wor work in. So we're on the query, but because we don't have any data yet, so the result is empty. So let's go ahead and add some data. First, let's create our first department. It's going to be IT. And then we can populate an employee. So I'm going to create an employee, uh, populate some random data here, select uh, gender. I can also upload documents. Set address and department. So let's add that employee. And now if we go back to our API Explorer and run the query, we get the data that we need. Keep in mind that this is the query that front-end developers would use in their application. Um, to summarize, in this video, we learn how to use Data Builder. We define very quickly a powerful data model uh, that now can be used directly from a front-end application. Uh, in the next videos, we're going to show you how to secure this data model and create roles and lock down access to specific tables and fields.